Why are shipping container homes dangerous for your health? Welcome back to our channel Cargo Home and thanks for tuning in to another video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more of the best shipping container home content. Today we are talking about why shipping container homes, as efficient as they are, may be damaging to your health. We all know that shipping container homes are on the rise because of their many benefits. They are convenient to build and maintain and also very cost effective. Shipping container homes are also very environmentally friendly and are great in urban places where heavy congestion continues to rise. But when it comes to this new phenomenon, experts do have concerns about potential health complications that can come along with living in them. According to experts, there is concern over possibility of hazardous chemicals either in the waterproofing or the flooring material of the paint, which may contain phosphorus or chromate. While not damaging immediately, these types of chemicals, over time, can compromise your health. One way to remedy this may be to spray foam insulation on all the interior wall panels. That greatly improves your container's ability to maximize efficiency and also produces a vapor barrier against any potentially harmful toxins in wall paint. If you want to be completely safe from possible toxins in your flooring or paint, you could remove the original wooden flooring and replace it with marine plywood from your local hardware store. But that, of course, is a lot of additional effort, which you probably weren't imagining when you first envisioned having your very own shipping container home. Plus, more research needs to be done on the effectiveness of some of the ways shipping container home enthusiasts have attempted to curb these issues of harmful chemicals. We haven't had this type of housing around long enough to understand what the full effects of this harm might be. These chemicals could be cancer-causing, which is obviously a major concern, but we have to wait and see how much exposure living in these homes is actually needed in order to become ill from them. Of course, this isn't something we want to experiment our own lives with. This is why there's a great deal of concern around shipping container homes. You're tuned into another video on Cargo Home, your shipping container home channel. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and comment on the video as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to never miss anything we put out. Back to our discussion on chemicals in shipping container homes. Besides phosphorus and chromate in the paint, there are also other health concerns that come with containers. Pesticides are used in the treatment of wooden floors and will linger in the home long after these floors are treated. These hazardous chemicals can pose a health risk to the occupants of contaminated containers. But there are ways to take care of these. In order to eliminate these risks, many containers converted to residential shelters use either new containers that are not treated or coated with hazardous paints or used containers whose history is well known and were not used to handle toxic substances. This isn't always easy to find, but it's the safest option if you want to be absolutely sure to avoid toxic chemicals. For used containers, you can apply a non-breathable flooring underlayment to protect yourself from harmful chemicals sprayed on the wooden floor. Then, place tiles on top of the underlayment as your new flooring. Or, the original wood floor can be removed entirely and replaced with marine plywood. Many shipping containers use toxic paint coatings to protect them from salt water. But the problem comes when you get in physical contact with the paint. In such cases, the paint coating can be removed when converting the container into a residential shelter. Alternatively, the container can be encapsulated with non-toxic paint or spray foam insulation to ensure the safety of the occupants. Shipping containers as a whole are really great alternative living options. There are many safety-related myths to containers, such as that they can't stand in hurricanes or major natural disasters. But in reality, the way they withstood Hurricane Katrina in the hardest-hit communities of New Orleans proves otherwise. They are also very resistant to pests, another major benefit. And most of all, for many shipping container home enthusiasts, it's their environmentally friendly way of living that attracts them to these homes. The containers are very friendly to the environment and are beginning to usher in a movement of recycled homes. Though they are often purchased used, inhabitants can remodel and decorate their home however they wish, making it the best of both worlds. Efficient, yet luxurious. Now, there's no denying that there are real health concerns when it comes to the chemicals used in the paint and wooden floor treatments. More research needs to be done to determine the extent of this threat. 
The good news is there are ways to stop these chemicals from penetrating into your daily living. For many, the health risks are worth it, but it is something to be mindful of before you go ahead with purchasing your shipping container home. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel Cargo Home for more shipping container home content. We'll see you in the next video.